¿Sabes lo que nunca ha salvado el planeta? Tu sarcasmo. It's really nice to talk to you today. Great movie, by the way, I loved it. My first question is related to one thing Salma Hayek said yesterday at the press conference about those girls that she saw dressed as Tejak. I wanted to ask you, what would you say to those kids that are starting to dress up like Ingwan Macari and play like them? And how do you feel about the impact of these characters in little kids? I would just love to tell those kids that, you know, everyone is a superhero. Anybody can be a superhero. I think all of us have so many moments in those days when we actually, you know, we kick butt, honestly. <laughs> And all of us have power within ourselves. Yeah, I mean, that's very beautifully said. I don't, I don't know if I can add to that, but, you know, I grew up watching Hollywood movies and I, I never saw heroes that looked like me. I saw bad guys that looked like me, but I rarely saw heroes that looked like me. So I think it's, I've just gotten so many messages from people saying that, you know, they're like excited to see someone with their type of name, with their type of skin color on screen. As Lauren said, kicking butt. So I'm glad, I'm glad it's happening. It's happening too late, but I'm glad it's happening. Oh yeah. Um... I think it's going to be a really, really important movie. I also wanted to ask you, I don't know if you have your future in the MCU discussed, but uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask you what's, what's on your wish list, particularly if you want to cross paths with any particular character or, or if you have a wild idea for a, maybe a what if episode <laughs> with, with your characters. Sure, you know, I am being selfish. I, I kind of just want to work with them again, you know? because that's such a we had such a great time working with them obviously you know i'd love to do stuff with thor i'd love to do stuff with spider-man but honestly for me the most satisfying thing would just be to work with this family again it was such a lovely experience well I, when i actually watched the film at the premiere the other night um at the end it just said eternals will be back at the end and i was like really Okay, yes, yes. I was so happy to actually see that on screen. And I think, you know, for the next movie, I just want, you know, to fly Kingo's plane. I, what, that's not fair. I didn't even get a chance to actually ride on his plane. <laughs> well, <laughs> Kingo would be honored to let you pilot his plane. By the way, great memorabilia in the, in the <laughs> I know. Yeah. I tried to get those posters and they were like, nah, no, they're ours. Oh. Shut. <laughs> so uh, I also wanted to know with this huge cast and a lot of stuff going on, maybe is there something that you shot that didn't make the cut in the final movie that you would like uh, for us, the audience, to see maybe in uh, in the Blu-ray or, or in Disney Plus? Well, yeah, absolutely. There was a scene that I think visually was gorgeous. It was a scene that actually involved a lot of silk. I don't know how much I actually can say, but the scene involved um, a lot of silk that was actually, it established very clearly who the thinkers and the fighters were. Mm -hmm. And it really actually showed us, you know, a dysfunctional kind of family, but also they were a very fun family. Yeah, we had a scene that we shot in the, during the Gupta flashback that really showed, as Lauren is saying, you know, how we sort of function together. And, you know, the movie's, obviously fairly long and that stuff got cut uh, I think rightly so but that was a very fun thing to shoot um, because you know there were very few because when there were 10 of us there were very few scenes where all 10 of us are together having a good time and that's what that was mm -hmm. well thanks a lot for for this wonderful interview and again congratulations uh, great great movie Tú no puedes proteger. 